All right, in this reading we're talking about cell division and there are two uh, big ideas slash key questions and here they are. What are the functions of cell division and what happens during the cell cycle? I'm going to skip the My Planet Diary and get right into it. So let's talk about what are the functions of cell division. How do tiny egg, uh, frog eggs become big frogs? Cell division allows organisms to grow larger. One cell splits into two two into four, and so on, until a single cell becomes a multicellular organism. How does a broken bone heal? Cell division produces new healthy bone cells that replace the damaged cells. Similarly, cell division can replace aging cells and those that die from disease. Growth and repair are two functions of cell division. A third function is reproduction. Some organisms repro reproduce sim simply through cell division. Many single-celled organisms, such as amoebas, reproduce this way. Other organisms can reproduce when cell division leads to the growth of new structures. For example, a cactus can grow new stems and roots. These structures can then break away from the parent plant and become a separate plant. Most organisms reproduce when specialized cells from two different parents combine forming a new cell. This cell then undergoes many divisions and grows into a new organism. Cell division has more than one function in living things, as shown in Figure 1. Cell division allows organisms to grow, rep repair damaged structures, and reproduce. So just here are some pictures here. So this would be repair, right? Growth, reproduction, right? All right, moving on. What happens during the cell cycle? The regular sequence of growth and division that cells undergo is known as the cell cycle. During the cell cycle, a cell grows, prepares for division, and divides into two new cells, which are called daughter cells. Each of the daughter cells then begins the cell cycle again. The cell cycle consists of three main stages. Interphase, mitosis, and cytokinesis. Stage 1, interphase. The first stage of the cell cycle is interphase. This stage is a period before cell division. During interphase, the cell grows, makes a copy of its DNA, and prepares to divide into two cells. Growing. Early during interphase, a cell grows into its full size and produces the organelles it needs. For example, plant cells make more chloroplast, and all cells make more ribosomes and mitochondria. Cells also make more enzymes, substances that speed up chemical reactions in living things. So here you can see uh, a little diagram here of uh, interface here. All right, copying DNA. Next, the cell makes an exact copy of the DNA in its nucleus in a process called replication. You may know that DNA holds all the information that a cell needs to carry out its functions. Within the nucleus, DNA and proteins form thread-like structures called chromosomes. At the end of replication, the cell contains two identical sets of chromosomes. Preparing for division. Once the DNA is replicated, preparation for cell division begins. The cell produces structures that will help it to divide into two new cells. In animal cells, but not plant cells, a pair of centrals is duplicated. You can see the centrals in the cell in figure 2. At the end of interphase, the cell is ready to divide. Stage 2, mitosis. Once interphase ends, the second stage of the cell cycle begins. During mitosis, the cell's nucleus divides into two new nuclei, and one set of DNA is distributed into each daughter cell. Science to divide mitosis into four parts or phases. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. During prophase, 
the chromosomes condense into shapes that can be seen under a microscope. In figure three, you can see that a chromosome consists of two rod-like parts called chromatids. Each chromatid is an exact copy of the other, containing identical DNA. A structure known as a centromere holds the chromatids together until they move apart later in mitosis. One copy of each chromatid will move into each daughter cell during the final phase of mitosis. When the chromatids separate, they are called chromosomes again. Each cell then has a complete copy of DNA. Figure 4 on the next page summarizes the events of mitosis. Figure 4, the cell cycle. Cells undergo an orderly sequence of events as they grow and divide. The photograph shows cells of a developing whitefish. All right, so here you go. Interphase, two centrical structures called centrals or copy. Actually, you need the whole picture here to really understand this. But cytokinesis is the third part. Cytokinesis begins during mitosis. As cytokinesis continues, the cell splits into daughter cells. Each daughter cell ends up with one identical set of chromosomes and about half the organelles of the parent cell. Here you go again. Here's mitosis, stage two, prophase. Chromosomes in the nucleus condense. The pairs of centrals move to the opposite side of the nucleus. Spindle fibers form a bridge between the ends of the cells. The nuclear envelope begins break, or break down, breaks down. Metaphase. Each chromosome attaches to a spindle fiber at a centromere. Anaphase. The centromere of each chromosome splits, pulling the chromatids apart. Each chromatid is now called a chromosome. These chromosomes are drawn by, are drawn by the spindle fibers to the opposite ends of the cell. The cell stretches out. Okay, so we talked about this just a second ago, but stage three is cytokinesis. The final stage of the cell cycle, which is called cytokinesis, completes the process of cell division. During cytokinesis, the cytoplasm divides. The structures are distributed into each two new cells. Cytokinesis usually <coughs> pardon me, starts at about the same time as telophase. When cytokinesis is complete, each daughter cell has the same number of chromosomes as the parent cell. At the end of cytokinesis, each cell enters interphase and the cell cycle begins again. Cytokinesis in animal cells. During cytokinesis in animal cells, the membranes squeeze together around the middle of the cell, as shown here. It's an actual picture. Each daughter cell gets about half of the organelles of, of the parent cell. Cytokinesis in plant cells. Cytokinesis is somewhat different in plant cells. A plant cell's rigid cell wall cannot squeeze together in the same way that a cell membrane can. Instead, a structure called a cell plate forms across the middle of the cell as shown in figure 5. The cell plate begins to form new cell membranes between the two daughter cells. New cell walls form, then form around the cell membranes. Here you can see the cell plate. These are actual pictures. Pretty cool. Did you know certain bacteria divide only once every 100 years? Bacteria known as Firmicutus live in certain rocks that are found three kilometers below the Earth's surface. It's pretty far. Life functions of Firmicus occur so slowly that it takes 100 years or more for them to store enough energy to split in two. Okay. So most of, if you look at this diagram here, you can see that the cell spins most of its time here in interphase. Preparation, growth, okay? Then in DNA replication. All right, we're at the end of the reading, guys. Uh, thank you for listening. Have a great rest of your day.